All right, so we got WordPress installed and set up. Now let's go ahead and log into WP Admin, WordPress Admin. So that's going to be ipagetrainingdemo.com forward slash WP dash admin um, or your site.com forward slash WP dash admin. Then we're going to get this login screen. Just enter the username and password real quick. I always like to click remember me just so I don't have to keep typing it in. And click remember in Firefox. All right, so this is the dashboard. I'll show you more about adding posts and pages and all that, getting the content on your site. Uh, for right now, you don't really need to worry about any of this stuff. I don't really use it. Just shows recent comments people left on your site, incoming links from other sites, recommended plugins, which we're going to be going over later too. I'll show you how to set up and install my favorite plugins to get uh, visitors to your site and help speed up your site, all that kind of stuff. And uh, let's see what else. For basic settings, um, we're going to want to go ahead and switch permalinks out because the default way that uh, WordPress has linking to your pages is going to look like this. Uh, YourSite.com forward slash question mark P equals one, two, three. And that's not really that bad. It's just like it's not as good for search engines or for humans as this structure, which is forward slash post name. Uh, with the percentage sign like that so forward slash percentage sign post name percentage sign forward slash and what that's going to do is it's going to just use words instead of question marks and numbers and stuff like that so uh, it'll be like your site dot com forward slash um, I just got a new puppy you know so uh, way better for people who are reading and also if you're searchers in Google like if people are looking in Google and they see that link they're more likely to click so let's click save changes alright it says you should update your HT access now with this information so let's go into iPages control panel and um, go ahead and upload that file what you're going to want to do is click in here Click select all or just click control A, control A to select all, control C to copy. And now I just want you to click the button below this video to download HT access because I, I made this this for you so you don't have to do it. Um, I just made a file. You're going to download that to your desktop or whatever. And then we're going to go over to the iPage control panel real quick. I'll start from the beginning there. So let's pretend you're on the home page of the control panel. Then you're going to, in website, you're going to click File Manager. And then you go to Upload the HT Access. I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, so let's click this Upload button. Click Browse. I'm going to go to Folder, Get, which one is it? HT Access you can see here and then we're going to click upload so this is going to um, basically enable the site to use that um, permalink structure that we just made so it'll look super nice in the address bar so let's do a little quick test uh, back to dashboard and we see there's one post so I'm going to click on the default hello world let's click view now uh, let me move this uh, move this address bar up a little bit look in the bottom of the screen you can see ipagetrainingdemo.com forward slash hello world so instead of numbers it's got hello world alright and it worked perfectly so you've successfully set up the HD access if you, this is what you're seeing um, let's see what's next it's going to be, well, I might, I'll probably show you later as well, but let's say we want to have a home page, the home page be a certain page. So I'm going to make a new page called home. Let's say this is the content that's going to go on the home page. And of course you can upload images and all that stuff. I'll show you all that later and now we're going to click publish
Next, you want to go in the settings section on the left, click on reading. See where it says front page displays? Right now it's set to your latest posts. So it's kind of blog style. So if you're like if if you're writing a lot of posts then maybe it'll show five of them on the home page. Right now it's set to ten. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and switch this to a static page and then select home. So when people hit your home page, you can have a certain message that you you know you want everybody to see. Um, in your latest post, that's perfect for a blog site, but for most of my sites I use a static page and select a home page. And you can do custom templates for that and everything. There's a lot of awesome stuff I can't wait to show you about that. So let's go ahead and test out the home page and see what it says. Alright, so in the this default template, this is what it looks like. It can be much cooler than this, but it says home, this is the content that's gonna go on the home page. Alright, so that about does it for setting up WordPress and uh, doing a configuration and all that stuff. One last thing, if you're like me and you're really just for some reason you like having www, then you can switch these over in general settings. I just like to have www.mysite.com instead of without the www. It's just my preference. And um, don't forget you can edit your tagline here. So let's say um, this is the demo site for ipagetraining.com, a quick, easy video course on how to use iPage hosting. Whoops, capital P. And you can edit your email address and all that stuff. So save changes. And yep, that's it. Let's go on to the next video where we actually start setting up a site. And um, by the way, if you change from non www to using the w's, then you just have to log in again. That's what you just saw on the screen. Um, it's just the, w the way cookies work. And if you have any questions about cookies, feel free to ask me. So anyway, um, I'll see you in the next video where we actually start setting up the site using a theme and all that stuff. See you there.